Ahoy, and welcome back to another guide from Broadside Gaming and me, Zug. So today's build uh, this is going to be something you haven't seen me play with very much or at all. And it is Salt Spire Flail build. And you will know how much I love Salt Spire. And I do love the flail. It's just a bit tricky to use. So with this build, it's super aggressive and you're basically going to be relying on dodge, not block and push attacks. Uh, because the flail block animation is just really slow. So that is going to be your last line of defense is the block and push. With this, you're going to be wanting to dodge a lot more. So we'll quickly go through the talents. Pretty standard for the first part. Walking Judgment, Flens, Assassin, Wild Fervor. And because we're not relying on pushing and the push attack, we're going to go for Charmed Life for increased dodge range because this is going to be your main line of defense, which is dodging. And for the last one, I know I always go for fervency, but with this, we're going to go with the unending hunt. And you're going to be one of spamming this on hordes it's just to keep your animosity rolling. So with this, you can just pop it against the big pack and just swing your way through. Mostly, you're going to be relying on heavy attack spam to get those big hits in. But obviously, against hordes, spamming light attacks and dodging a lot and the second you're using is brace pistols so this is a really really aggressive salt spy build and i wouldn't suggest it as a first time build i would try one of the other ones that i've shown as this is it's highly aggressive and requires just really good placement and the ability to dodge out of the way of everything because blocking is not going to be as easy as it is with the other weapons so one more look at the talents, Walking Judgment, Flens, Assassin, Wild Fervor, Charmed Life for the dodge range, you really need to this build, the Unending Hunt. The equipment and breakpoints I'm using, so the Flail, Attack Speed, Block Cost, Swift Slaying, yes we're still using Block Cost because it's still, you know, you're still going to have to block. This isn't a dodge or block situation, you're going to have to do both, but dodge should be your, you know, go-to, and if you get a tricky situation, then block. Uh, for the Bracer Pistols, we're using Crit, Power vs. Skaven, and Scrounger. For the Neck, Health, Block, Cost, and Bark Skin. Uh, for your Charm, Power vs. Chaos, Attack Speed, and Concoction. And again, as always, the Trinket, Curse Resist, Crit Chance, Shrapnel. And as I always say, if you're running Kata, change the Curse Resist to Stamina Recovery. So yeah, this is the general breakpoints for this build. So it's just another quick one, guys. Just something else I've been working on and playing with. But yeah, as I said, it's a very aggressive build and it is very punishing if you cannot get your dodges right or get into position properly. Because the block animation is incredibly slow. Like compared to that, compare that with like uh, the Falchion. It's almost instant compared to the Flail. But the Flail is hilarious and it's... You know, synonymous with uh, Salt Spire. It goes hand in hand with him. And also, it looks fucking cool. Look at that. Look at that big fist. Shoot for Z. There you go. Look at that mighty fist. Just ready for some bashing. But yeah, anyway. Hopefully, you've uh, enjoyed this um, little sub build I've done for you guys. And uh, if you have, please, you know, like, subscribe, and hit the little bell for notifications. I'll be chucking up more builds as time goes on. And I'll be updating all previous builds from 4.3 to 4.4. So thank you very much for watching guys and I shall see you all again next time.